and I have a very interesting product review today. And the product is Ancestry DNA. Now, in the past 70 years, there's been a scientific revolution in DNA. And this scientific revolution has had wide-ranging effects and applications. Uh, it has uh, allowed for the development of a lot of new medical treatments, uh, medicines, and also it has revolutionized crime fighting as well. Uh, every person, every living organism on planet Earth has a unique DNA and it's really fascinating how within our cells uh, there is a code uh, that is unique uh, to every living organism that ever was and or ever will be as far as we know. So this is my story uh, and my experience with uh, Ancestry DNA. And but before I get further into it, I'd like to touch on, or I'd like to say a disclaimer that uh, I'm not an investor in this company. Uh, I don't have any sort of uh, financial uh, relationship with them other than as a customer, nor do I have any friends or family uh, who are employed by them or invested in the company. Uh, this uh, DNA test uh, was purchased for me as a gift from my sister. Uh, she thought it would be really interesting for us to uh, get our DNA tests, and I immediately said, yeah, that, that'd be great. And uh, so it's approximately $99 to get the test, and you get this package, and you activate your kit, you collect your saliva, you mail your sample, and you explore your results. So, it's pretty straightforward. You open this up, it'll have a uh, saliva collection uh, tube, and uh, you just uh, collect the, the saliva and I don't have the tube anymore because I sent it in, and uh, it's some product information. So it just comes in this box, and then you send in uh, the saliva, uh, which has a lot of DNA in it, and then uh, Ancestry.com extracts that DNA from the saliva and then they uh, compare it against a database of hundreds of thousands of people and th uh, with that with this test uh, you uh, your unique genetic fingerprint um, is uh, cataloged and it's uh, compared to these hundreds of other th hundreds of thousands of other people who have had their DNA tested. And what is revealed in the test is where your uh, genetic ancestors were from. And it's very interesting. As it turned out, uh, there were no surprises in my uh, DNA test. I, I am from my ancestors are from where I thought they were. I, I am who I thought I was as far as the genetic component. And I'm going to share that with you. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. Now, on a philosophical sense, uh, my philosophy is kind of along the lines of the French existentialists that uh, a person is not defined by their DNA, but by their actions in the world. Uh, I believe it was Sartre who said, uh, experience before essence. A great quote, and the meaning of, he was an existentialist, 
and the meaning of that is what defines you is not your genetic heritage, but what uh, you do in this world while you're alive, uh, which is a beautiful concept. Nonetheless, it's interesting to know what, where your genetic ancestors are from. And my mom was Norwegian, mainly Norwegian, and my dad was uh, mainly Welsh. And lo and behold, the DNA test came back showing that uh, I'm mainly Norwegian and Welsh. So I'm going to share this with you. And this is what mine looks like. Edmund Jacobs III. If we look at this, I'm 37%, my DNA is 37% Norwegian, 29% Welsh, 16% England and Northwestern Europe, 10% Scotland, 5% Ireland, And then finally, 3%, last but not least, 3% Sweden and Denmark. So very interesting. And there there's a, a corresponding, whoops, sorry. There is a, a corresponding map showing those countries where my genetic ancestors originated or we're from. So it was really neat to see the actual breakdown in DNA. Now there are different uh, versions of Ancestry that you can subscribe to. I'm not currently subscribed to any but just the basic and it updates as more and more people are entered into this DNA database the, the percentages uh, will change a little uh, now also, what's really neat about this is uh, one can build their family tree and um, that's a really neat thing as well. I um, One of my family members uh, has built the family tree. I'm not going to uh, share who that family member is just out of confidentiality. Uh, I haven't spoken to her about making a video so I don't want to include her in anything. Uh, but we have this family tree which is it's pretty interesting. On one side uh, it goes back to England. Robert Jacob, 1330. So it goes back a ways and then this tree see many ancestors and descendants and uh, you may or may not already have people in your uh, family who have built uh, the family tree and so that may be the case may not be the case as it was when I got the DNA test this family tree had um, already been uh, built by other relatives of mine, or I, I should say researched, and it's pretty interesting. Again, on the English side of things, it can go back all the way to 1330. That would be the Middle Ages before the Renaissance, and see the English ancestors, and then uh, that would be on my dad's side, and then on my... Uh, mom's side, uh, it goes back to uh, the Norwegian ancestors, it goes back to 1718. So I suspect that the English records during the, uh, from 1000 to uh, 1800 were probably much more extensive than the Norwegian records, 
probably were not as extensive. That's why this family tree uh, of, of ancestors ends in the 1700s in Norway. Certainly there were other ancestors, uh, but uh, I'm not sure who they were. So a very neat, a very neat product, uh, a very interesting product, and uh, something I'm really glad I participated in. Uh, now I, I'm going to build or research uh, that uh, genetic historical uh, timeline of ancestors uh, and, and start building um, my family tree. Uh, right now you can see the Jacob's III family tree. It's a one member. Uh, that would be me. So, uh, anyway, a really neat product on a scale of, uh, shoot from the hips scale of 100. I'm going to give this product a 95. It's really neat. It's uh, very interesting and uh, something that I've really uh, gotten a lot of satisfaction from uh, learning about uh, a lot of, learning about my my ancestors and just a very interesting product so there you have it ancestry dna thanks so much for watching take care talk soon